Turn over the problem sheet so all members can see it and view it. Uh, give one to two minutes to understand the task. Brainstorm the solutions to the task for the remaining 18 minutes. Remember to voice your ideas out loud to the rest of the group. Defer judgment. Make sure you sketch or record all of your ideas on the paper in front of you. Um, and the objective is for you guys for the task is to produce as many ideas that are reasonably valid as you possibly can. Then in the final two minutes, you should on the back of your pens or attached to your pens see some coloured little stickers. Uh, what I'd like you to do then is discuss for the last two minutes which you think your best idea is over that 18 minute period and then stick the coloured dot next to it. Then we'll have a, a break. Um, and most importantly, you've all got different tasks at different times. So when you have a break, I'd like you to try avoid discussing the tasks with each other, especially other groups. Is anybody got any questions regarding uh, this setup? Go ahead. Are we allowed to sit outside? The table's not there. This table is 
That's true. Uh, we, we do have some round tables out there. So the groups on the thin tables, I either suggest two of you walk around the front of the tables and stand up, um, or we have the round tables outside. Um, what do you think, Morton and Anya? Yeah, it's, it's what do you prefer? OK, so uh, as soon if you, at the start of the exercise, if you'd like, the people on the flat tables, there's some round tables out there, you're welcome to take the work out and we'll shout out the instructions to you and you can just come back in for the lectures. Go at the back. I'm going to, uh, to note it and make a note when all these time frames are hit or should we just... Yep, we'll, we'll <laughs> inform you. We'll inform you when there's two minutes left and we'll also inform you when the 20 minutes are up. Uh, you're at the back there. <laughs> okay, so I think what we better do now is uh, freeze the groups from now. Oh, go on, one more question. Uh, there'll be three separate exercises. Um, so just to reiterate quickly. You can see exercise one, two, and three. So you get a different task each time. So it won't be the same task. OK, Jakob, if you could just make sure nobody else uh, enters or joins any of the groups now, we'll start regrouping. Um, how many groups have got five in at the moment? So one, two. How many groups have got three in? Hmm. OK, I think we're going to have to chop the groups down to three then. Yeah. OK, so this gentleman's on his own at the moment. Um, if I can have, would one of you, your team, volunteer to go to the group behind? Uh, team of five, are you five at the back? Yeah. Uh, could two of you, uh, sorry, one more of you come and join this table here? Just one volunteer. Uh, that's okay for that group to be four, I think. Um, one of you uh, from the five, uh, come down the front here. Just any of you. Uh, another, which was the other group of five? Uh, can two of you come down the front here and join this gentleman? Okay, the groups of uh, four. Uh, can I just have one member of each of those groups of four stood up, please? OK. OK, you three. Uh, the, the lady stood up there. If you three could just step to the side and form a group. Is there a group of two? This gentleman here, will you join this group? OK, you three, go sit at the back table, please, if you don't mind. Girl at the back, if you join this group at the back table as well, please. Yeah. OK, Morton, would you get the, uh, this group a uh, set of pens and a piece of paper? Sorry? Does it need to be a specific um, No, we, we can sort that out afterwards. So we need some a pen and paper for these, this front group. And a task. Det er bare et eksempel. Det er bare den opfølgelige fire kriterier der.
I think we're being filmed and we're supposed to speak English. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Let's make a Velcro solution. <laughs> yeah. So that it just has to take. Hey, but it doesn't say how many bikes supposed to be. Oh, it's just the one, I think. Yeah. Just one bike? Yeah, I think. The bike. I just think we should make a lot of ideas because just about making as many of these Yes, okay, I have understood it, but I guess we have at least uh, one thing uh, I I could imagine it was just like some kind of ma magnetic uh, device here to sit on the roof. Or I guess two magnets on each side and then some, some kind of bar. So that's that's just the mountain, how to mount it on the, on the car. Mm -hmm. So magnetic. It should be fast. Velcro. Have a nice velcro on the top of your roof, on the bottom of your wheels, and then some sort of strap. Yeah. And okay, I guess here yeah, in the same sense, like the same way uh, you put on your GPS on the front screen, some yeah. air suction device where you just pull the trigger and then you suction air. Mm -hmm. Pressure. Yeah, pressure. But I don't think I don't think this would be a good idea if you have some kind of strip run here. What if you what if what if something pushes from this side? I think uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think line number two in the exercise, the first fundamental part of creativity is that we put all positive yeah, okay. ideas on and then we ev evaluate the last okay. two minutes because otherwise you you kill all the good ideas. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the are you having an, an idea or you? Yeah, so we stop This is a simple device. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what about some kind of uh, click mechanism or something? Which uh, clicks the, the bicycle in some kind of. Yeah. Kind of way. So here, at least we could have click. And I, I like the idea of, of Velcro here. I think, yeah, but the, uh, the obvious problem is the wind. So. That's probably why you usually put the bike on the back of the car, I guess. Yeah, I also put it on the back, but just with the wheels up. Uh, as, at least uh, with the wind, I think if you design it like you could design it, for most bicycles it's quite easy to take off the front wheel. Mm -hmm. If this is the back of the car, we could also make some kind of slot system so that uh, you can put in uh, the, the car, uh, the bike, this way, and then uh, in some way store uh, the bike here. I just drawing this like this is when you have taken off the wheel of the, of, yeah. of the bicycle mm -hmm. and then you have the same kind of mountain device as you mount the wheel on you put it mm -hmm. through this uh, yeah, the mountain uh, device and then you could have wha whatever way to fasten it on the, on the mm -hmm. roof car and then you have all the, the bike here and you, I guess you could have the back wheel here and the back wheel could be into some kind of a... So we have as far as, as long as just the front part of the bike is is solid mounted on the car, yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, obviously then there won't be a problem with the rear wheel. What about something with, with if you put the bicycle here 
and this one, this part is put at this point and you have something which mounts the bicycle around this, this skitter. Yeah. I don't know if it should be some kind of click or something, but something with it, yeah. If we do like this, if you say, I don't know if... But this, if we have the bicycle here, and you say we mount it here, I think this part will cool. Or it could be like a rubber band. Or a click system, a hard, yeah. hard yeah. plastic part, yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah something, yeah, something like that. Yeah, or it could be, it even could be like the way you do with the windsurfer mast. Uh, there you have the mast here, then you have this plastic thing around here, and then you have like a, a rope going around here, and then you secure it on the back side. So when you tighten the rope, you tighten this click system around it. Yeah. So it's, it's like it's ski poles that is adjustable. Yeah, and it's very se secure. It, yeah. It won't fall off in any way. Yeah, around around this part, this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sitting here, this mountain device. So this yeah. one, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's well. Yeah, it could be like this as well. I don't know if it should be in the front of the bike or. Or at the rear end of the bike. It doesn't really matter. So, so I think we should aim for not having to remove the front wheel. Yeah. But that's that's the only because oh. I think probably most mountain bikes and racers will have the possibility of removing it easily, but not yeah. the no. children's bike, you don't have the same no. possibilities. Releases. So in some way, maybe also this is the back of the car. Um. Just one here, uh, then a, a clamp system, so that uh, this one can be tightened down here, and uh, from the top of the bike, if you have the bike here. Um. Then uh, you can tighten it to this part here, in between. And then you can put place maybe even three bikes. Yeah, actually that would be a good idea to have something which is around, which is put around this point. You, you know, maybe you could even tighten it two places. Yeah. Where are we talking now? On the roof of the car or on, on the back of the car? Yeah, that would be a good idea to have something. So you put the bicycle down here. Yeah. Or, uh, so would you have to disassemble it? Oh, or would you? Would you have the wheels on it as well? Yeah, I guess the, these um, these ones come up here on both sides on both sides. Mm -hmm. The only problem is is you have to have something which take the force um, in this direction if you if you drive over some kind of uh, bump or something. Yeah, uh, that could be. Yeah, but I thought maybe you can just place this over and then uh, tie it down, so we'll screw this around. I was thinking in another way, is there any reason why, if we have the car, why we don't turn the bicycle around? Then you could use the handles as securing point. Is there any reason why it should... And the saddle. And the saddle you could use, then you only have two easy points of securing. Yeah, but I don't think it would be... Perhaps it would be too hard to mount it on the rack. You have to turn it around. What's the difference? Yeah, I don't see... Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I think it's more about securing it that would be the... Yeah, perhaps it's more secure. Uh, then securing it, then what, a, what about uh, some kind of uh, s placement here? Uh, it's just like uh, you see from the side. The uh, tau on it. So you, uh, you, you can even uh, make an uh, angle on it, and then you can drive your bike on it, up in it. And then, uh, you, can yeah, then you can leave the doors. Oh, but it's on the back. Oh, you want it on? Oh. 
maybe. Yeah, so you sort of have it. Usually, it's just you use the kind of bulk, but there are like not enough as usual. This one, the only thing this would do is to make sure that the device doesn't go. So you would have it so to just. You, you, you would just put something that shielded the car on the back and then put the bike here, like... And but maybe combined with, with a clamp system or something, that you have this... So it's easy to mount, you just angle this one down, so that uh, it touches the ground, then you can just... And how do you remove the this uh, slip thing from the car? Do you have it all that you could you put it on the car permanently? But I, I kind of like the idea, if we have the car like... Doesn't matter. This, this, this part, the car, and then you have this rail as you saw in some way. And if you if you just kind of turn it around, of course, then you have to to mount the bike on the opposite way. But if it's hanged out of the, of the back, then you have this slide here, and then you could hang the bike here. And then, and then when you needed to get the bike on the car, and maybe just a little wrench or something, like that, it would go up and sit there. That would make it easy for most to get it on the top of the car, as you talked about. I guess it's, for most cars it's quite difficult to get them up there. So if you can just But I'm not talking about the top, because I, I just think that we have to think about the back of the car. Yeah, for all cars, what, what if you have, have a station wagon? If you could make some sort of device where it's actually just out of the, the, the what's it called, the storage room in the back. Yeah. So if you have, if, if you secure it inside the storage room in the back, then you can have it on both, both station wagons and see that normal to pay cars because then you would just have this and the rail would stick would come out of the of the back mm. and you would stick but I think the problem with this one could perhaps would be if, if you don't if you, if you don't can uh, is able to take those those one down like this but it's not about talking about the, the, what the disadvantages no the no, yeah. no this no. is only okay. about idea, idea okay. generation yeah. and a lot of ideas yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you have some sort of way to mount it inside of the back of the car and then it comes out and you have the rail yeah. and then you can have some sort of adjustment system to secure it to the car and then you can just put, put the bicycle. You just hold the bike there like you know like this. <coughs> That's using the, the sort of running it on, on, on something like on a rail. Yeah. And I still think it would be a neat idea if we are thinking about the rail to have the possibility to lower it yes. so it's easy. So you don't have to be a strong guy to get three bikes up there or four bikes up there. But if we think about the bike maybe uh, just laying down on the roof here on this one in the small drive. Yeah. But then, um, the are like then I this. would uh, actually and prefer right that we make and some kind of Exactly like this. Turning yeah. thing so that we turn it this yeah. way up. Yeah, exactly. So that, yeah. or maybe from, even from this side, from where I'm placed, yeah. so that the uh, bike here locks it from the top, that it doesn't move at all. And then uh, you just uh, swing it up because it, you lock it to the this one here. Yeah. So maybe it's even tightened to this part. So if you see the top of the car here, then uh, this one maybe you just need one rail in between that the bike is tightened here. Yeah. And then uh, you turn it up here and then you make tighten it over here uh, when it's placed. Mm. Or maybe you have two and then. Because then it's more stable. Yeah. What a kind of now we are in some creative mode. But I feel we are missing in some way 
is a definition of what we want to obtain. Because now we have evolved a lot of ideas and, and maybe one of the things we would like to design as well was something where it would be very easy and very fast and secure to get the bicycles on the roof. The mission is easy. Easy mountain of the bike, yeah. Yeah. An easy mounting of the rack, yeah. Of course, this one will be more easy than the other. Just yeah, this is an easy mounting. Yeah. But the problem perhaps could be if, if if the bicycle is too large for, for the roof. But uh, you cannot you cannot have the, the roof here and the wheel from the bicycle. Well, you could. Yeah, you could. Maybe what? If what about we just make uh, some kind of uh, mat, uh, plastic mat? Instead of always thinking about placing metal bars, just making a large uh, plastic, uh, this is, uh, plastic, and uh, you just place it on top of the roof. Yeah. And maybe you can even cut it in the right size of your roof. And then uh, there is this metal bar so that uh, you can easily tie it in the bike. And then uh, by this metal bar that. Uh, leans here on the side of the car then uh, you can put it up on top of the roof and it will not make any scratches and it's really easy to uh, remove again the only place it's really uh, what if it's just sort of a suction mat so you have you use the suction you know it's like a the one you have in your bathroom yeah. you just put it yeah. on your roof and, and then you make the this and then you can even just have straps here and here and here and here and then you just go around the bike and then you secure it like that and you, then you put it flat on top instead of Instead of placing it upwards, you just put it down on yeah, top of yeah, the roof. Yeah, that's all the uh, idea that you should place. Yeah. Uh, and then you flat. just, and you can easily strap it. Yeah. And the mat here, you make like uh, the the camping mattress that's inflammable, so they expand by themselves, so they get a little room, and and then they could uh, distribute the pressure for whatever the bike is. So if you make it like a double thickness of a camping mat, yeah. mat then you could. Fold it again and store it away and fresh the whole day out of it. Yeah. And then there's, I don't know, and then just the straps around the roof. Should be okay. It's just very fast and then you don't need to have any metal things. Maybe one this way. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So the straps go inside the car. But what about instead of making a lot of things that you just have this one placement that you have to place it and then you don't want to make any scratch. This one is enough to tighten it all in one place. What was that? Maybe we just tighten it uh, at the side of the car. Oh, but I mean, how do we tighten the bicycles? Yeah. And then we have a missile bar that goes around here and then in some way you... Uh, you tighten it to this one again. Turn it around so that it ends up here. Yeah. And uh, you have this plastic mat here. Yeah. So, so you can just now, yeah. it's, now it's done. But I mean, if you put, if you place like three bicycles on top of here, three different. Yeah, but we then just need one. Yeah, and it, it's laying down. It's laying down. It's not uh, standing up. I know it's laying down. And this is not the top of the car. This is a uh, team from the back. Oh, that's from the back of the car. Like this one. Yeah. Reels. I just want to uh, fasten here, and then I want to, to go around. But uh, you can do it in all sorts of ways. Yes, I sort of like the idea that we used to do, like with the when, when you put a surfboard on top. Yeah, exactly. So you just have the mat. Yeah. Uh, with the with the suction things, I don't know what how it will affect the the surface of the car, but hopefully it won't be a problem. I don't know. Any guys feel so any? Either way, we can we would just sort of use like a like a bathroom mat. Yeah. And you would and the suction flatten on, out yeah. and use the suction and then have the straps inside. Oh yeah. What did you say? Okay, we have to choose our favorite solution. Um, I like the mat with the. I like the mat uh, with some kind of straps and in some way development because it's simple, it's easy to store, there's no metal yeah. parts. Of course, it would be a problem if, if, if we should have more bars yeah, than this one side. But now we're in it. Yeah, but it's not the task right now. And I don't think if you lay, lay so the bikes down, uh, I don't, well, it's not 
you only depending on what type of user you are, but if you're like me, anyway, I throw the family bike up, up on the trailer, on top of each other, so for me it wouldn't be a problem at all. And this one also takes care of that today, it's like every car has its, its own window system. Right, we're going to take a break now, but before you do, you make sure all your sheets are together and write your team number on your idea sheet, please. And please put them so that others can see your solutions in the break. I think people will be able to comprehend our solutions. Yeah. So maybe this will be our new product idea to work. Yeah. <laughs> Don't care about anything else. Now I don't think anybody will be. <laughs> yeah. We can. I think we. I don't. I think we're gonna explain it. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. So, fix that.